Hello everyone and welcome to Sharp Dress Gaming and today we're back with Sharp Dress VGC Pokemon VGC 2K15. Now, today we are back with our Sun Team featuring Executor. Notice I said Sun and not Sun Trick Room. That's because I got rid of the Trick Room aspect. As you can see, well, Executor is still there, which was our Trick Room setter. But instead of Trick Room, I gave him Protect. There's been so many times I've wanted to use Protect with Executor, and then he ends up dying. So I, I hope this is going to help out a little bit. I also made Charizard faster. We still have Raichu. Instead of Gigalith, we have Mian Shao. Gigalith didn't really get to show off, so I'm going to try and bring him back in a future episode. But now our Crocodile is faster, and then our um, Gudra... I didn't invest in speed, but I just gave it so that it wasn't zero speed IVs. So we're going to hit that challenge button. We're sitting at 1571. This team's been doing a lot better. I also took Focus Sash off Raichu and gave it to Mian Chao. Um, I probably should have gave it Life Orb, but we'll see here. Uh, Raichu with, had now has Air Balloon, so I can Earthquake with Crocodile, which uh, has been working out for the most part. Excuse me. Uh, let's see if we can find an opponent. But... I don't know. I think I should have given Miancha Life Orb and Raichu the Focus Sash. But, uh oh, this is going to be annoying. But I like seeing that Haxorus. I say it's annoying because of Breloom, and it's really the only annoying Pokemon on this team. We have Breloom, Bisharp, Charizard. Actually, Breloom's not terrible because we have uh, Executor. There's also a Jolteon, a Rotom Wash, and a Haxorus. So we really only have to worry about the Charizard here for our Executor, and the Bisharp, I guess, too. But Executor does good against the Rotom, the Breloom. Um, I don't know that Haxorus can hit it at all. And then there's also the Jolteon, which can have Hidden Power Ice, but we should take that very nicely. So I think Executor will be in the back. Ra uh, that being said, Raichu will be good here, because there's both a Rotom Wash and a Jolteon. So I'll go Raichu... I think I'll go Charizard too. Charizard, Executor, and Crocodile. Looks good. I'm gonna hit that confirm. Hit that young confirm, and let's see what we can do here. I've been liking this team a little speedier. Uh, it's been working out a little bit better. Um, and if you still, and if you guys wanted to check it out and still run Trick Room, it'd still work because a lot of these Pokemon are slower than, uh, say, Mega Kingscon and all them. But well, we see a Charizard Jolteon lead for my opponent. So, kind of the same thing we did, except we have Raichu, which... I think Raichu is a little bit better. But here I can fake out... The... Charizard? No. Let's fake out the Jolteon. And then I'll use Heat Wave after Mega Evolving to try and take out Jolteon. It's going to withdraw Charizard, so that's why I wasn't too worried about it. And my Charizard is Ancient Power, which is in Bisharp. Not even bad. Catch this Heat Wave boy. As long as it's not Focus Ash, we should be sitting pretty on that one. Even if it is, because um, it'll take a Sucker Punch, and then we can knock it the F out. Or Raichu will take a Sucker Punch is what I'm trying to say with that. Raichu's Fake Out connects with Jolteon. Does a little bit of damage. That's all that. For, oh, Jolteon avoids the heat wave, unfortunately, but it's, Bisharp is dead. So, one Pokemon already down, which is, of course, the Bisharp. I wonder what my opponent went for with Jolteon. I don't know, Ming. I do not know, Ming. And he brings back in his own Charizard. So, what I can do here, ne? Um, I can just Thunderbolt Charizard and go for another Heat Wave. I like using Ancient Power on other Charizards, but it's not worth it at this point, because then Raichu really can't hit Jolteon. We just have Hidden Power Ice, and that's gonna, not going to do a ton. Um, Jolteon goes for Volt Switch, but of course we have Lightning Rod. I was wondering if I was going to catch him with that. So Raichu gets the special attack increase, so this Charizard is dead as a doornail. Rap, get out of here, boy. Charizard goes down, and now hopefully we hit this Heat Wave on Jolteon. There it is, Heat Wave. And we drop Jolteon. So it, we're up against one Pokemon here. 
and it's either Breloom or he's going to disconnect. I kind of figured that was going to happen after we just demolished that. But, um, yeah, there's a quick demolishing, and then we're going to see what we can do for the second battle. Um, I don't think it's been very long, so depending on how long the se second battle goes for, I might go for three today, just because that was a little bit of a molly whopping. We're at 1571 after that battle, though. It was a little bit of a strange team, and I kind of was wondering if he didn't know that Raichu has Lightning Rod. Uh, we have Red Lod from France. Red Lod? Red Lod? Uh, Metagross. Ooh, this team looks fun. Metagross, Landorus, uh, Thunderous, uh, Melodic, Hydreigon, and Terrakian. Terrakian, huh? Alright, let's go Raichu, Charizard. Raichu, Charizard, Executor, and Miensho? I wouldn't mind Krook, young Krooky, but I think is a better choice here, so let's go with Mianxiao. Unfortunately, Gudra doesn't get to show up, or Krook. Because Krookadile came to the last battle, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he did. Yeah, Krookadile did, but of course we never saw anybody other than Raichu and Charizard. So hopefully this is a little bit more competitive, you know, because... I kind of really want to do a second battle now because we didn't really get to see anybody other than Charizard Raichu and hopefully at least Executor can come out here. I'm thinking it will be. It's This looks like a very scary team. So Raichu, Charizard lead. Best lead. And Metagross and somebody else. Thunderous. This is good for us. Metagross and Thunderous. Metagross, Thunderous. Alright, well, I'm going to fake out the Thunderous. And Meggy Evolve Heatwave the Thunderous. I thought I had Flamethrower for a second. Is that our best option? Yes. Yes, it is. Um, I'm assuming Mega or Metagross is going to Mega Evolve and then Protect. And then he's going to try... I don't know what he could do with Thunderous' this thing. He's going to stay in, though, so obviously he thought of something. Um, we're faking it out, though, so it's not going to be able to get an attack off. Metagross, is it not Mega Evolving, or is Charizard just faster at this point? I think Charizard's just faster before Mega Evolves. Yeah. So if he doesn't protect here, he's taking a Heat Wave, because we outspeed. Meta. Let's see here. Metagross does protect. Kind of assumed that's what was going to happen. And now, Fake Out onto the Thunderous. Bop. Now it's going to take a Heat Wave as long as we connect. We do. So, eat this Heat Wave Thunderous. Does a nice amount. Do we get the burn? No, but there is a Citrus Berry attached to said Thunderous. To said Thunderous, and Thunderous, of course, flinches. So, I'm going to go I'll go for Thunder Wave onto Metagross to slow it down, and then I'm going to protect Charizard. Because I think Thunderous might go for, like, Swagger. I could see Swagger happening. Hopefully he doesn't taunt Raichu. Then headbutt, but Charizard protects Thunder Wave into the Metagross. That's all we needed. That's a and Thunderous is slower than both of us. What does it go for? Goes for the hidden power into Charizard. Not even bad, boys. All right, so I can just Thunderbolt the Thunderous and Heat Wave into both of these guys here. Metagross might um protect, so I could have Ancient powered, but in case it doesn't. I want to get a Heat Wave. Or if it switches out, Heat Wave's going to... Heat Wave will hurt Landorus. Um, everything else resists. But we should be fine. Metagross actually gets uh, paralyzed as it tries to protect. And we get a Thunderbolt off into Thunderous. Which does not take it out, but Charizard is faster. And the mighty Heat Wave comes through and should clear the field now. Dead. Double dead. Double dead. I'm telling you, you don't need anything other than Charizard Raichu. These two are demolished. And, because Raichu saves um, Charizard from being hit by Thunderbolts, or Thunder-type moves, Electric-type moves, even. Um, Trio Hydra, that's uh, Hydreigon. And Demetrios is Landorus. It is, in fact, Landorus. 
Well, we don't really need these two anymore. To be honest. Um, I'm going to go for the Hidden Power Ice. And I'm just going to go for Heat Wave. Charizard can fall at this point if it's choice. It's not choice Scarf Landris, though. So we should outspeed it, I think. So we might have a dead Landris on our hands here. Unless it avoids, of course. Could have killed Landris there, probably, but what can you do? Hydreigon goes for the Dark Pulse into Raichu. That should bring it down to Sash. Oh, yeah, I don't have Sash. <laughs> uh, get rid of my Air Balloon, though. And there's the Rock Slide. Connects to Charizard. That should kill it. That's fine. We were done with those two. They weren't going to do much to, these, to Landris and Hydreigon. It would have been nice to connect with Landris because I should have killed it, but now we have Mienshao and Executor. Executor! So Mienshao can fake out Hydreigon. And then Executor can do other things. I'm going to fake out Hydreigon. I could just Leech Seed the Landris. Or I could Psychic it and it might kill it. I'm going to go for Leech Seed. I'm going to go for Leech Seed. Here's the fake out. Bop. And Hydreigon flinches. Landris gets to go next with Rock Slide. Breaking my poor Sash. It's not doing anything to either of them though. And Executor gets off that Leech Seed. That Leech Seed Dole. Now, I don't think I live a Dark Pulse from Hydreigon at this point. Um, I am going to just protect here because it's the easiest thing to do. I'm going to high jump kick with the Mian Show, and hopefully we don't F and miss because that would suck and we'd probably die. Executor protects good. I was about to say, did Hydreigon protect? But no, it might be a Choice Scarf Hydreigon. Or Choice Specs, I mean. What up? High Jump Kick connects with the Hydreigon, knocking it out. A critical hit, even. Hydreigon goes down. And Landers goes for the Earthquake. Executor is protecting itself, but Landers... Ooh, unless it has U-Turn. Which I think we live U-Turn. I think I need to live U-Turn. I'm not sure, though. Hopefully it doesn't have it. Um, but we're going to get that Leech Seed off. I should have just went for Psychic. That would have been the smart move there. Because now he has a chance to KO me. But here I'm going to go for Psychic. So as long as he doesn't have U-Turn. He has U-Turn. Shit! Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me! I'm so stupid! Damn it! We should have had that one. But, uh, I'm so dumb. Yeah, U-Turn killed. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Should have just psychicked when I had the bloody well chance. Shit. Well, we almost had that one. But uh, I think we'll go for one more just because that first one was so fast. Hopefully it doesn't get too long. Especially after that misplay. That was that was just stupid on my part. That was just stupid. I completely forgot about U-Turn. I didn't think he was... I thought he was... No, I didn't think he was choice because of Charizard outspeeding it. That was just me not thinking. That was just me not thinking. So we're at 15.69 after that one. After that disgraceful misplay on our part. I probably didn't even have to leech it. I probably could have killed it with Psychic to begin with. Unless it was... And missing Heat Wave too wasn't, wasn't helping us, but... But it was my misplay that lost us that one. 16.07. Life is cruel, apparently, in Mexico. Alright. Uh, we got a Salamence. A... Tyranitar, a Thunderous once again. Uh, Gastrodon, almost said Shellos. Gastrodon. Pharaoh. And Ark. So. So, so, so. Raichu Charizard. Um. Executor. And do I have to go me and show again? Um, we have Executor for Gastro. Um. Tyranitar, we have Solar Beam and Giga Drain, but I'd rather get a Fighting type move. Does Crocodile still have Super Power, or did I get rid of it for Rock Slide? I, in fact, got rid of it for Rock Slide. The Salamence, we don't really have anything for yet other than Hidden Power Ice, so maybe Gudra? Maybe I have to bring Gudra? Oh, I didn't get. Well, I mean. I was about to say, I didn't get rid of Fire Blast for Thunderbolt, but 
At this point, I read that Fire Blast, so I'm going with Gudra. Gudra. So hopefully we can show off Gudra, because I don't think Gudra's came to any battles yet. It might have came to one early on. I know Crocodile came to a lot of battles when we were in Trick Room. But hopefully I picked everything I need here. Salamence Gastrodon. Gastro. Huh. So there's the Intimidate. There is the Intimidate. So here I'm going to fake out the Gastro. And I'll protect the Zard. I'm not going to Mega Evolve because I think he's going to try and switch in Tarantar. Yep, there's Gastrodon switching into Tarantar. Arcanine. To take Solar Beam. Did he not bring Tarantar being afraid of... Mienshell? Maybe. Salamence is going to Mega Evolve. I don't know that it... I don't know that it uh, attacks this turn, though. <coughs> Excuse me. Salamence protects. That's what I kind of figured. So we'll get some nice chip damage on this Arcanine. I mean, not very nice chip damage, but it's something. But it's something. We'll get this fake out off. Bop. And no Rocky Helmet. So Raichu's going to Hidden Power Ice the Salamence, and Charizard is now going to Mega Evolve and Ancient Power the Arcanine. Um, I'm not good with speed tiers with Raichu quite yet. I know it's really fast. I just don't know if it's faster than, like, Salamence is a thing. Is it faster than Salamence? Salamence withdraws. Well, shoot dang. Into Tyranitar. Ooh, so we get the sun up. Perfect. So, Tyranitar's sand stream is going to go up. Charizard's going to Mega Evolve now and set up as the sun. So we know his full team. It's Tyranitar, Arcanine, Gastrodon, and Salamence. So it's going to be rather annoying. It's going to be rather annoying. Okay, so we get a Hidden Power Ice off on the Tyranitar. Although it's not going to do very much. Then we get Ancient Power off on this Arcanine. Let's see how invested it is. Do a nice amount of damage. And Arcanine goes for the Flare Blitz onto Raichu, I assume. Which is going to kill it. Kill it dead. Because we, no we no longer have... Focus Sash. Unfortunate as it is. And our canine gets a bunch of recoil. So our canine's almost down. Oh, and it's also Life Orb. Um, so I'm going to go into Executor. And because I think Tarantara is now going to switch, I'm just going to Leech Seed that spot. And Charizard... Can Ancient Power again. Actually, that's Solar Beam Arcanine. In case Gastrodon switches in there. Tranitar switches out. So I don't think Arcanine did. Salamence comes in there. Exactly why I Leech Seeded. And does Arcanine switch? It does not. It just protects. Just protects. So I try and Solar Beam. Doesn't work. Obviously. And we get a Leech Seed up with Executor. Alright, we get some recovery, of course. Now, I have to protect Executor because I don't want to take a double edge. And then Charizard, I'm going to switch into Gudra because I believe... I believe that our canine's going to switch for Tyranitar. So I'm going to send in Gudra. Our canine switch. Uh-oh. This could be bad because I think he... Double-edged. He hyper voice, so Gudra's gonna take that. Gudra's gonna eat that, and then Arcanine wild charges, so Gudra will resist. Okay. And Arcanine goes down to that. So Arcanine's dead. <coughs> and we get some Leech Seed recovery from the Ments. From Young Ments. Alright, and then who comes in here? Probably Tyranitar. I don't think he's going to want to send in little baby Gastro. There's Tyranitar. Set up that sand. Get rid of my son. So because Executor will die here, and I'd rather have Executor over... 
Actually, executive power might take a hyper voice. It takes heat wave. Um. Executor, what do you think, buddy? What do you think, buddy? I'd rather try and keep Executor around, I think. No. Let's see, I'm gonna leech seed. I think Gudra is going to Dracometia. No, let's ice beam. Salamence. Let's ice beam the Salamence. There's Hyper Voice. Executor, eat this up, buddy. Oh yeah, we eating that. We eating that for days. Critical hit on Gudra, that's not good. So we eat the citrus, and now Tyranitar attacks Gudra. Is Gudra out of speed? Nope. Assurance. Damn it. That's going to kill Gudra. God damn it. Critical hit. I mean, Assurance probably still would have killed Gudra. Uh, Leech Seed onto Tyranitar now as well. So we're going to start whittling away at both these suckers. Salamence gets buffeted by Sandstorm, of course. Executor takes a little damage as well. And then we get Leech Seed Boy... So, Executor is just doing what Executor does. Just eat some leeches. Just eating those leeches. And... <coughs> harvest Citrus Berry. Surprisingly, we harvest in the sand still. Um, I'm going to throw out Charizard here. And set up that Drought. Young Drought. And then... Here, I just protect Executor, and I'm going to Ancient Power the Salamence. So I think Tyranitar switches out for Gastro here. As much as he probably doesn't want to because there's two Grass types on the field, I can just hit him. But I think that's what he has to do here. I think that's what he has to do here. Alright, Mency Boy. Mency Boy. Because Salamence is special, so we should take one hit from Salamence with Charizard. I don't know if we'll eat a Draco. We'll take Hyper Voice, though. Tyranitar does switch into Gastro. That's fine, that's fine. That's perf. Well, it's not perf, but it's fine. Not perf, but it's fine. Executor will get some Leech Seed recovery from the Mence. I don't know that we take it out with... Oh, he's got Double Edge. But Executor protects. Ancient Power. We Do the Dirty. Yes, and the leechy gets it. Get out of here, mints. Bitch. You bitch. So Salamence will in fact fall. Executor is going to get some more leech seed recovery. Now, Tyranitar has assurance. How fast is this Tyranitar going to be, though, is a question. He's going to get the sand back up, unfortunately. He is, in fact, going to get the sand back up, unfortunately. I think Executor just Giga Drains... Gastrodon, and Charizard really can't do much, so I'm just going to Heat Wave. I could I guess I could have tried a Solar Beam. Heat Wave, we can try and burn the Tyranitar. No burn. Rock Slide. Uh, it's going to kill Charizard. Of course. And as long as we don't flinch, we should kill Gastrodon. We eat our citrus berry. We eaten. We eaten. We eaten. Come on, Executor. And that's... Oh my god. Fucking brilliant, mate. Alright, so he goes for Assurance here. He goes for Assurance here. I'm just going to give Tyranitar a Leech Seed. He goes for Rock Slide, actually. How much does this do to me? Don't you... You gotta be fucking me right now! Alright, that's cool. Thanks, dude. Double flinch. Double flinch. That's perfect. Well, we had a chance there. We should have won that uh, second game, but I messed up. And then this game, we had a pretty good chance, but of course we get flinched over and over again, so whatever. It must have been a 
<laughs> it's a rindo berry that uh, decreases uh, grass type moves, so you might have lived and then mirror coated the poop out of me, but still. Still, it's just annoying that I got flinched. But what can you do? Well, thank you guys so much for joy uh, for watching. Uh, let me know what you think about the faster version of this team. And uh, it's not super fast. Like, you can make it even faster. You could go Chlorophyll Executor instead and then go Max Special Attack. Um, but I like the Leech Seed kind of stuff. And uh, I could have gone, like, Choice Scarf, Crocodile, and that kind of stuff. But I had Thunder Wave and Raichu if I wanted to go that route. Oh, yeah, I used Thunder Wave in one of the games against the Metagross. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me. We'll see you next time. Bye.